Okay, so first step is going to be to brush out all those tangles. If you're anything like me and we have been home every single day um, living in our jammies, you're gonna have lots of tangles to work on. We love our wet brush and our continuous spray bottle that is linked on our Amazon recommended products. So we're gonna be doing a style that's inspired by Littlest Love Hairstyles. Um, Mikkel is one of our brand reps and she is awesome. She does the best hair, she has the best ideas. Um, so first off, you're going to wanna to part your daughter's hair down the middle. This comb is also linked in our Amazon recommended products. They're sturdy, um, I love them for parting. I love the rat tail end. So you're just gonna to wanna to wet down your hair, get all the tangles out and section off the first side. In the photos of this hairstyle, we weren't sure if there was anything in the front. Um, so at first we were gonna do two sections, but we actually ended up doing three. So you're gonna wanna part about three quarters of the way down. Try to get a nice and even part here as well as you can with a wiggly kid. Luckily, Alice sits pretty still. So section off that top part and we're gonna work with the bottom part first. Make sure it's nice and damp. Um, I am going to be working with Old Spice Pomade today. Usually I prefer Paul Mitchell Spray Gel, but we are out and so this will have to do. I like to use it on the little hairs down at the bottom of her neck. These elastics are also linked on our Amazon recommended products. So what you're going to wanna do is separate the hair into two ponytails. You're gonna to wanna to comb that out and braid all the way down. A little tip is to get the very top of the braid very clean um, because when you put the braid into the other ponytails, that part will show. Um, so just a little tip after doing this hairstyle, that little, that top of the braid is a critical part that I wish that I did a little bit more clean on this hairstyle. Moving on to the other side of the hair, you're gonna basically wanna do the exact same thing you just did. You're going to wanna to comb out this section one more time with your brush, making sure there's no tangles. Use your comb to part this top section into two areas. The middle section will be a final ponytail for your messy bun, so you wanna make sure it's clean and tight. Um, these elastics are also on our recommended products. They come in like a pack of 100, and it feels like they have multiple of every color. It's nice for matching outfits. So you're going to wanna to Make sure your hair's damp and get pomade or spray gel. Sometimes I'll even spray a little bit of hairspray into those little hairs in the front um, just to make sure that they are down and flat. Um, and then take your small elastics, creating a ponytail. We're actually gonna do a topsy tail up here in the front, so you'll want to get your topsy tail tool. This is listed on our website. We are having a restock coming soon, so you just pull the hair through the loop and it creates a topsy tail. Super, super simple, clean, and easy. Um, and it comes with two different sizes of topsy tail. 
tools. So you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing on this other side. Try to make sure your part is even with the other one so that it, it kind of looks like one straight line. and do the same thing you did on the other side in the front. So now what I'm going to do is combine all of the ponytails together. You're gonna to wanna to take one of the braids from the bottom section and it should go up and one should go diagonal, making a cross in the center. Um, I just took another hair tie. You totally can just take the hair tie out and use one hair tie if you prefer. I do like two because it keeps the ponytails nice and tight on Alice's head so that halfway through the day they don't slip. Make sure your braids are twisted frontwards, kind of get your spray. I just kind of cleaned it up right around here. I used my pony pick to take out the elastics from the braids um, and I'm gonna untie the braids that are in the ponytail so that there's not braids running through my messy buns so it's just nice smooth hair. These pony picks are also available on our website. They come in a pack of three and it also has some elastics on there. They are a lifesaver when it comes to doing fancy hairstyles in your daughter's hair because taking out little elastics are no longer painful for them and they'll actually let you do it. Next you're going to want to take another elastic, make a little tiny bun and wrap the remainder around that bun using a pin, a bobby pin to secure the end and then do it again on the other side. Having another hair tie also secures it again. One of the things that drives Alice crazy is when the buns like slip halfway through the day and they're like wobbly. This is our hair pin pal. This is also linked on our Amazon recommended products. It makes it so I don't have to dig through my drawer to find bobby pins, so it's awesome, I love it. So what you're gonna wanna do is just kind of pull the bun apart um, and pin it on the top, on the bottom, around the sides. You wanna get a good coverage around the ponytails. Um, I use three to four pins per bun. Again, the tighter you are, the better, so that they don't wobble throughout the day. After this is completed, you're gonna to wanna to take your Almost Alice bows and put them in. Today we are using our light pink glitter Reese bows for Pink Wednesday. And then top it off with hairspray. I love Aussie hairspray. My girls love the way it smells. I like to get all of the little tiny flyaways, especially behind the ears and on the top of her head and down by her neck. Once you've sprayed it, you're completely finished and it's now time for pictures so that you can tag us on your social media. 